How's it going guys, Davey here from PhoneBluff.com and this video we'll be doing a review on the iCarpus Universal Smartphone Stand. I bought this guy for about $12 on Amazon a couple of days ago and I've liked it so much that I wanted to do a video here sharing it with you guys. So before I actually show you, you know, how it works with a couple of different devices, I want to show you the stand itself. You know, you can see right here it works in the spring system. You, know, you have three prongs that hold your device, the middle one being the one that you can actually move back and forth. Of course, because it's on the spring, it actually snaps right back into place, and that's what holds your device nice and firmly. You can see the edges are rounded off, so that way it grips your device. And uh, it's relatively thin, so I mean, you'll be able to fit it into your pocket without it bothering you all that much. It's not thin enough where you could fit it in your wallet or something like that, but you know, if you're a girl and you have a purse, you can throw it in there. If you're a guy, you can just hold it in your pocket, you know, whether it's in your shirt or in your pants, and you don't really feel it all that much, so it's pretty cool. Um, very, very lightweight, and it seems like it's made of good material. I mean, I've had it for a couple days, and the, it doesn't seem like the spring will break. Of course, if you pull it too much, it might, but I haven't done that thus far. So let's go ahead and show you how it works in a couple of different devices. Here's the iPhone 4S. You would just pull the spring back and put it in sideways just like that. Make sure the rounded edges, you know, cover the phone on that edge. Same thing with this edge. And once it's in there securely, you could actually, you know, move it around and see how steady it is. I mean, it's not going to fall out. And of course, the main reason you got it for is to be able to watch, you know, videos or games in uh, landscape mode, just like that. You're actually able to use your device too. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, it's actually reversible as well, so you could do it, but it doesn't give you a different angle, so that's kind of unfortunate. But the good thing is you could actually also use it in portrait mode like that. And again, it's pretty, you know, firm or stable, but that's only because this device has a very flat bottom. If you're using a device with kind of a curved bottom, it doesn't work as well. I'll show you that in a little bit. But anyway, that's the iPhone 4. Let's do the iPhone 5. Great thing about the iPhone 5 is because it's a little bit taller, you could actually adjust the uh, portrait mode angles a little bit more. So for example, if you wanted a high angle, you could move this guy down just like that and you get a pretty high angle here. If you want a lower angle, you kind of move this guy down like that and you know you get a lower angle. So pretty cool. Of course, it works the same way you know, in landscape like you would expect. You know, you're able to sit down and use your iPhone, watch a video, whatever you want to do. So those are the iPhones. Let's go ahead and show you how it works on the Galaxy S3. It's a bigger device. You know, when I first got it, I was kind of wondering, you know, is it going to be able to stretch out to uh, cover this width? And it does, and it does it relatively easily. You know, I just put it on like that, and again, holds it nice and firm, and works really, really well. I mean, to be able to watch videos, you know, on my phone like this, on YouTube, set it on my desk is really, really awesome. Uh, like I said, it's reversible if you want, but it doesn't give you different angles. So I'm not going to show you that. Now, portrait mode is a little bit different on the Galaxy S3. It's kind of wobbly, as you can see. I mean, technically, you set it down, and it'll if you don't touch it, it'll work just fine. But because the uh, bottom is kind of curved on the Galaxy S3, it doesn't actually have a really, really good, you know, stable uh, grip on it. So, anyway, that's the Galaxy S3. You know what? I'm going to show you how it works with the case as well, because you know, some people might be wondering, will it work with the case? Because a lot of you guys, you know, have cases on your phones just like I do. So it actually does work, you know, just the same. It's very, very stable, and again, it works just fine. Um, I don't think the case does anything to help the uh, portrait mode on the Galaxy S3. No, it doesn't. See, it kind of wobbles, where on the iPhone it wasn't doing that. So uh, last device I'll show you, and it's the biggest device I have, is the Samsung Galaxy Note, obviously at, you know, 5 plus inches. You know, you're not going to think that this little uh, stand will be able to do it, but it actually can, and you can see it works perfectly fine. Again, very, very stable, and this is pretty awesome. I mean, if you have a screen this big, being able to use a stand is absolutely awesome. And uh, portrait mode works really well on the Galaxy Note because it does have a very flat bottom. You know, you're able to use it without it wobbling all that much. But that's pretty much it for my little review on this stand. You know, I've liked it a lot. Definitely recommend it. And, you know, like I said, for about 12 bucks, something that's definitely worth it. Uh, you can hold it in your pocket pretty easily. But that's pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.